The Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's is brought to you by Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Lucas Oil, it works. We're back on Sam Rayburn for the inaugural event of the Texas Team Trail. Danny Isles and Brian Shook are two of the young guns in bass fishing, potential heirs to the throne, so to speak, as Danny is Stephen Johnston's stepson and has learned his craft well from one of the best on the Texas bass circuit. Oh, we're at Sam Rayburn, we're in beach right now, but uh, that's probably not gonna last too much longer. Uh, we're kind of just trying to focus on the inside grass edge and, and throwing moving stuff, rattle traps and square bills. And, uh, that might not last too much longer either if we don't catch one pretty quick though. With the weather like this, we thrown a spinner bait and a chatter bait, a rattle trap. Just they'll slap it but won't eat it. And we really need them to bite something out here like this for us to have a chance at doing real good because just going down the bank, you really don't have any control over whether you're going to catch a big one or not. And you can stay out and try to fish deep and hope for five or six big bites or you can go down the bank and catch 40 or 50 small ones and then hope you just get lucky and catch an eight or nine pounder. And we kind of chose to stay out and just fish for a handful of big ones instead of a bunch of little ones. Net? I don't think so. Nope. You're gonna, you're gonna make me go back to the fluke, huh? <laughs> I think you'll keep me. Yeah, we, uh, we've had a real slow morning with hardly any bites at all. And the last 30 minutes, we've gotten three bites. So, uh,. Hopefully it'll just get better as the day goes on. It's been a tough morning on Rayburn. Jeff Reynolds is no stranger on these waters. Having competed on the Bassmaster circuit for years, even he is having trouble cracking the code. The about it, I can't make up my mind what I want to do to try to catch them big. And I know they ought to be on the bank. Dang, we can't catch them on the bank. Just little ones. Jeff is sharing the boat with his good friend and fellow Oklahoman, Randall Bruce. Together, they've put four fish yes, in the boat this morning, their biggest being about three pounds. Reynolds and Bruce are blind casting, dragging yeah, a, a rig across the bottom while drifting a flat in eight feet of water. A little one? It might be a good one, Jeff. Better be. He snagged. Well, dad gum, cheating sucker. Can't catch him in the mouth, you gotta start snagging him. <laughs> well, he fought good when he was hooked that way. I don't know how he did that. Like find a needle in a haystack. You're looking for these hard spots out here, like shell beds or rock or just something hard. And they'll be usually piled up right in the middle of it. Man, you talking about an awesome trail. I mean, when you show up to registration just to see what all's been put into it, you know, you got three brand new Ranger boats out there, Triton boats. And I tell you what's amazing to me, you know, I think this is the first time, first time I've ever heard of it, to have competing sponsors sponsoring the same trail. Uh, Avonrude, Mercury, Ranger, Triton, you know, all of them, and then getting Lucas Oil. I mean, that that's a huge sponsor. And a um, little bitty thing. Just, just to see what they're putting into it, man. The payout's awesome. The, the contingencies, you know, most other trails. You know, you look at the payout down the line, you know, everybody wants to put a big payout out in the first place. And then you look, you finish 10th place, you know, you don't make no money. 
but in this tournament with all the contingencies you know you're set up just right i mean you can double what you would have won for more information on sponsor contingency awards visit texasteamtrail.com dave parsons and michael yoder just made the long run back after spending the morning on the north end of the lake with three fish in the boat, they're just trying to fill their limit. Bites been just, everybody we bumped into said the bite's just been nil. We were in a popular area this morning and there was probably 12, 16 boats in there. And we were the only ones we seen all morning put a fish in the boat. We stayed in there till we thought it was time to head south. Let's get down and try to get a little closer to the ramp and and hit a couple areas. I know it's got a lot of good areas. It's got some fish in it, should have some good grass up here. And uh, try to just get some bucks in the boat or get, finish out our limit. That's gonna be a key to, to the success of this day for us is finishing the limit out. So hopefully we can get it done. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to fish with him. I'd learn a lot, get to relax. Maybe if I catch one fish, I'd do good. He'd, you know, the legend up there would carry the whole team. <laughs> I think he broke his back. I got a man down in the front of the boat. <laughs> uh, you're a funny guy, Yoder. You're a funny guy. Time's running out, but there's plenty more to come from Sam Rayburn and the Texas Team Trail.